I shot him six times. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. If you have not done so already, please shoot this video a like. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you're a new viewer to this channel, please shoot that subscribe button as well as that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Scream 3 voice manipulator possibly being used in Scream 5, something that I think a lot of fans actually have looked past. Now, we were first introduced into the Scream 3 voice manipulator by Roman Bridger in Scream 3, where he was able to pick up on other characters' voices and use it when he would be calling, you know, his victims. Now, the reason why I believe the Scream 3 voice manipulator may have been used in Scream 5 all stems from the opening scene of Scream 5. Hello? Hello. Is Christina there? No. Now, some of you will ask, Marcus, what does the Scream 3 voice manipulator box being used have anything to do with the opening scene of Scream 5? Well, it's in my opinion that this is when the Scream 3 voice manipulator box was used. As we have to take into account, yes, we know it was Roger L. Jackson who was using his real voice then before leading into Ghostface's voice when he was talking to Jenna Ortega's character, Tara Carpenter. But we also have to keep in mind that the revealed killers in Richie Kirsch Amber Freeman, or whoever else is involved with them, like we think there's more people involved that was involved with Richie and Amber, we have to believe that they were the ones who were making the phone calls. So, with that being said, you have to ask yourself the question, how would Richie or Amber or whoever else was making the phone calls, how were they able to manipulate their voice as Roger L. Jackson? It is almost nearly impossible unless you have the Screen 3 voice manipulator box. And it's in my opinion that in the opening scene in Scream 5, the Scream 3 voice manipulator box was used to alter for Roger L. Jackson's voice. Now, another thing I want us to take note of in this video, and about this theory that I have about the Scream 3 voice manipulator box, is that we are supposed to be getting a shrine of memorabilia from the Stab movies in Scream 6. If we do believe this is a cult of Ghostface, who's to say that whoever is the leader of this cult already didn't already have certain things from the stab movies or certain memorabilia and was able to get a hold of this of the stab three slash scream three voice manipulator box which is why they were able to use it at the beginning scene of scream five it's not impossible to think especially being that we are getting a shrine of memorabilia from the stab movies in scream six so this is a theory of mine that i wanted to share with you guys and i definitely feel strongly about it and I definitely do believe that we will get the Scream 3 voice manipulator box being used in Scream 6 as well. Now let's take a look at this crossword that we got a few days ago from the official Twitter page for Scream. Um, there's not too many clues in here. Just basically some locations, basically some, you know, some lines, you know, some iconic lines from the film or what have you. But the two things I want you to pay attention to in this crossword is five down and eight down we're going to start with five down obviously it says where you can worship me well it spells out to be shrine you know the word in the crossword but the key thing is here is where you can worship me that in my opinion is a clear sign at least a clear tease that we could possibly be getting the cult of ghost faces that i have been talking about on this channel and a lot of us has been talking about in the community in general this is something that fans have been clamoring to see and I think that this, you know, in this crossword, that this is a clear sign that we are going to be getting a cult of ghost faces. Because outside of a church, you know, I really don't think you can, I don't think you can come up with anything else in terms of where you can worship me. Obviously, we know cult, you know, cult followers look like, look at their leaders as a god in some sorts. So, in my opinion, this is definitely a clear sign that we could be getting a cult of ghost faces in Scream 6. And it will be very well received in my opinion. Now, another thing I want you guys to take a look at, again, as I stated earlier, is look at 8 Down as well. Where it says, basically, movies don't create psychos or what have you. Basically, the iconic Billy Loomis line from Scream 1996. Now, the reason why I pointed this out in this video is because, obviously, we know the rest of that line. You know, movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Well, 
another thing that fans have been clamoring for in the Scream franchise is for them to get creative, to get different, to add stuff we have never seen before, whether it's returning Ghostface killers or new ways to get innovative in terms of Ghostface's kills. And in my opinion, I think this is another clear sign that we could be getting a lot more creativity in Scream 6. We already see the Ghostface killer in a bodega rocking a shotgun. That's a, a clear sign of getting different, especially with the character and the way he kills people. So I definitely think this is another clear sign that we could be getting a lot more create a lot more creativity in Scream 6. And if you heard, you know, or if you at least read Kevin Williams's comments from a few days ago, then he was basically hinting at this as well. But okay, everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on my theory about the Scream 3 voice manipulator box being used in Scream 5, as well as let me know what you guys think about the crossword puzzle. And do you agree with me that the five down with the whole shrine and the whole worship me line, do you believe that we are, that is a clear sign that we will be getting a cult of ghost faces in Scream 6, as well as the eight down line on the crossword do you think that this is a clear sign that we are going to be get, getting even more creative in Scream 6 than we have seen in any other Scream movie before? Hit the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. Once again, this is I Shot Him Six Times, YouTube Hard Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.